In order to understand the human brain, uh, it's helpful to know some of the terms that we use to describe both location and direction when it comes to brain anatomy. So let's just go over some of the very basic terminology. Well, here we have an adult human brain, and the front of the brain is here to my left, and the back of the brain is here to my right. So the front part of the brain we call the anterior end, and the back part we call the posterior end. So anterior is towards the front of the brain, posterior is towards the back. Now, of course, the front of the brain is also towards the nose, so for that reason, we also call this direction rostral. So anterior and rostral mean the same direction for the adult human brain. Now, towards the back end of the brain, we call that caudal, although for reasons that we'll mention in just a moment, uh, that word caudal meaning tail doesn't exactly fit the forebrain, but it does fit when we include the spinal cord. So we'll get to that in just a moment. So anterior rostral towards the front of the brain and posterior caudal towards the back of the brain. Now if I turn the specimen so that you can appreciate the mid-sagittal plane dividing the left hemisphere to the right hemisphere, I think it's easy to appreciate how we talk about medial to lateral in brain space. So medial is towards the midline, lateral is out towards the side. And that's true for all levels of the central nervous system. Now sometimes which way is up can be just a bit confusing in the brain. When we view the brain from the lateral surface, the top part we can refer to as the superior surface of the brain or the dorsal surface of the brain. The lower part we can refer to as the inferior surface or the ventral surface of the brain. But these terms get just a little bit confusing when we look at the mid-sagittal plane in a different hemisphere. So let's do that. Now with the mid-sagittal hemisphere in hand, we can talk about position as it applies not just to the forebrain, but also to the brain stem. Well, as I mentioned, towards the front is what we call anterior or rostral. Towards the back of the brain is what we call posterior or caudal. But notice what happens in the relationship between the hindbrain and the forebrain. There is a flexure or a bend that takes place in the axis of the brain as the forebrain develops on top of the middle brain or mesencephalon. So all of this forebrain seems to be running in the plane of the table, whereas the brain stem is off at an angle, about a 120 degree angle relative to the plane of the forebrain. That's what we call the cephalic flexure. And below that point of flexure, these positional terms are applied in a different way. So when we talk about caudal for the forebrain, we're talking about the posterior part of the occipital lobe. But now if we talk about caudal relative to the brain stem or the spinal cord, we are talking about the inferior direction towards the tail, the cauda equina segment of the spinal cord, which is the most inferior stretch of the spinal cord. So towards the tail is quite literally towards the horse's tail or the cauda equina when it comes to the brain stem and spinal cord. Now, what about dorsal and ventral? So for the brain stem, dorsal means towards the back. And if you can imagine this brain stem extending into the spinal cord, towards the back would be on this aspect of the brain stem. So the cerebellum is dorsal to the brain stem. Posterior for the brain stem is synonymous with dorsal. So if we talk about the posterior aspect of the brain stem, we're talking about its dorsal surface. Likewise, if we're speaking of the ventral surface of the brain stem, we're talking about the part of the brain stem and spinal cord 
that's towards the belly or is ventral. Ventral is synonymous with anterior when it comes to the brain stem and to the spinal cord. So this can get a bit confusing. Again, just to review a few of these terms, when we're talking about anterior relative to the forebrain, that would be in this direction, towards the front of the brain. Anterior with respect to the brain stem would be right in this location here. Ventral for the forebrain would refer to the inferior surface of the hemisphere. But ventral for the brain stem is synonymous with anterior. Now finally, superior and inferior continue to mean towards the top of the body being superior and inferior is towards the lower part of the body. So we can say that the pons is superior to the medulla and the pons is inferior to the midbrain. So superior and inferior are similar, as is medial and lateral. If we were to look along this mid-sagittal plane, the cut surface is medial, whereas the side surface of the brainstem is what we would call lateral. So medial and lateral are the same for the brainstem and spinal cord as they are for the forebrain. So with some knowledge and some practice with these positional terms, it will make great sense to you and will have uh, the capacity to discuss relative position within the brain as well as among these superficial features with some precision that can help us align the central nervous system with the rest of the body.